What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat bringing you another video here on the Modern Ninja Channel. This time we are doing something we haven't done in a while and I'm sorry about that. We are bringing back the Fight Like a Superhero series here on the Modern Ninja Channel talking about Damian Wayne, none other than the son of the bat. can't forgive the deaths. I'm your only son, old man. Dick was my son, too. So, just as an update, if you don't know this already, make sure you are uh, getting involved in that giveaway, because between now and when I hit 25,000 subscribers, I'm doing a giant giveaway, and you have all this time to enter, and I'll leave, you know, information about that down in the description, because I'm not going to waste time in this video talking about that. But, like I said a while ago, we're going to get through all of the Bat family members. We're going to touch all of them. Barbara, Barbara will get to, we'll get to all the different types of Batman, from whether it's animated series, from the movies, all that stuff. We will get there. But first, let's get to Damien right now. So for those of you who've been under a rock as far as comics go for the last couple years, maybe decade, Damien Wayne is the true son of Batman. I'm his son. You certainly are. Trained by Talia al Ghul and Ra's al Ghul as a child, I'm talking like between one and 10, he was trained to be an assassin, straight up hard, cold blooded killer. So when he joined Batman as his Robin, he kind of changed his fighting style to be less assassinations and more, you know, takedowns and stuff like that. So because of that, Damien actually has two different fighting styles, uh, pre-Robin and post-Robin. Right now, we're gonna go post-Robin. So his fighting style while he is Robin. So we're gonna be talking about two main aspects of his fighting style. His unarmed combat is gonna be number one. And I don't want it to be easy. <laughs> and his sword combat is going to be number two. So first off, let's get into his unarmed combat. Damien is a kid. I think in the recent movies, he's gotten up to the age of 12, maybe 13, but he's still not an adult. He's not fully grown. He's not fully developed. So he's going to be smaller than a lot of the fully grown men that he fights, like Deathstroke and Hugs and, uh, you know, people that do bad things. Because he's so small, he is more likely to get in close and underneath for uh, chest and body hand techniques. For example, he gets in close with Nightwing while they're training in order to get some punches and rib breaks in there. But when he's working on trying to get closer and being able to throw those hand techniques and those breaks, he will use his kicks and his leaps that are amazing for some reason. He will use his legs to deliver powerful kicks, way more powerful than he really should be able to, but somehow it just kind of works. I'm not gonna question it. Although I probably should. Damien is often seen using sweeping kicks, kicks like roundhouse kicks or backspin kicks or even inside out kicks that stay, keep the leg straight and swing it around to use that power. Damien has shown to use straight kicks like a side kick or a front kick in his fighting, but not nearly as often as he uses other styles of kicking. Damien still has an edge to him. Shut up, damn you, or I'll tear your heart out. Do you hear me? I'll tear it out. <laughs> so because of that, Damien is more likely to go to breaks and locks and holds and stuff like that than many of the other Bat family members. Now the next part is going to be talking about his sword. Damien uses his sword very, fairly often to compensate for his size. His sword allows him to have a bigger range so he can attack from a farther away distance, which puts him on a more even level with many of the people he's fighting. For example, Deathstroke. <laughs> But Damien has modified even his sword moves from killing strikes to maiming strikes. Instead of going for, you know, chopping off someone's head, he will go for body cuts and arm cuts instead of going for the kill shot. 
Robin. <laughs> Lucky. Damien also utilizes his kicks and leaps into his sword attacks. He will oftentimes add a backspin kick or roundhouse kick as a part of a sword combination. This gives him more versatility and makes him less predictable than some of the other Robins that, there, that Batman has had. Now I know you guys are all ready to see what combinations I have for you. So I'm gonna be using this sword. If you don't have a sword and wanna practice this, my suggestion is to go to Lowe's, right? Get some PVC pipe, heat it up and press one end of it so that you make a pseudo blade. That way you don't actually cut yourself and use that to start working on uh, your sword. If you wanna see me make something like that, let me know down in the comments. But let's get to the next part of this video. All right, so the first combo we're gonna do is gonna be all hands, no sword yet. The next two combos will be sword, don't you worry. But we're gonna work on it when they're coming at us, throwing a punch towards us. So from our fighting stance, what we're gonna do is we're gonna step to the side with our back leg and use our left hand to block the incoming strike. So stepping off center, so I'll do this facing you, stepping off center, blocking that first strike. Now, once we do this, we're gonna use our back leg to their knee to bring them down to our level. Remember, we have to act like we're smaller because Damien is smaller than the people he fights. So stepping out to the side and blocking, using our back leg to take out their knee, taking out the inside of their knee so that they fall to the ground. Now, from there, with block, kick, you're gonna switch up, pick your knee up in the air, and you're gonna launch yourself in the air for a right kick, right leg kick to the head. All together, it's gonna, or slowing down, it's gonna look something like this. You're gonna wanna block one, kick one, kick two, just like that. And so all together, it's gonna look something like this. Next, we have our sword combination. So, our sword combination is gonna start off with our ready stance right here, keeping the sword in front. We're gonna start off with a fake head swipe just to get our opponent to dodge the first sword. So we're gonna fake that head swipe, not aiming to actually decapitate because remember, Damien doesn't wanna decapitate when he's a Robin. So, going for this first strike, we're gonna fake and come immediately down and slash the knee because the idea is that the target leans back opening their knee so you can cut the arteries not allowing them to run away or use their legs in the fight i said artery i meant tendon don't you worry so from here we're going to fake and slash the knee just like that now from there we're going to use the pommel to bang deliver a knockout deliver a blow to the to the face right here, making our target cry and possibly knocking them out with the head strike. So from here, we're going to fake, slash the knee, upside down, using the pommel, bang, one more time. All the way through, it's gonna look something like this. So for our last combination, all remember all of our sword strikes for this last combination will be towards the chest, or at the knees. No neck or head strikes on this combination. So here we go, starting from our position, we're going to strike one at the knee and strike two at the chest. So one more time, strike one at the knee, strike two at the chest. Coming through, we're gonna switch our top right hand grip so that we're grabbing it and our fingers are all facing the same direction as opposed to facing opposite direction. Our fingers will be facing the same direction. So it's gonna be one, two, switch to grip. You're going to do that same kick where you launch your knee off the ground, the tornado kick, we've done it before, where you launch your knee off the ground and do that roundhouse kick and then finishing with a slash across the chest. So, one more time, it's gonna go one, two, flipping the grip, three, four. One more time, nice and slow, just so you can see it a little bit better, I'll do it at an angle. It's gonna be one, two, flip the grip, three, four, all the way through.
I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I do always put a lot of work into these, and I take a, they take a long time for me to to research and and put together. So if you like this video and you want to see more fight like a superhero videos, one hit a like, give me drop a like. Let me know you guys think this is worth it. Two, let me know what other heroes you want me to do because. I like I have ideas, but I don't know if you guys want those ideas. So let me know if there's a character from comics or movies or video games or whatever. Let me know. Tell me down in the description. And lastly, share the video, guys. It's it helps so much to know that you guys are sharing the video and you like it enough to tell other people. So if again, if you want me to keep this series going, because I know it takes a lot out of me if you want me to keep this series going definitely let me know in those three ways but thank you so much for watching this video if you are all the way at this point in the video appreciate you watching all the way through let me know if you actually watch all the way through this top part of the video let me know down in the description I'll, I'll give you all a star if you watch to this part of the video but until next time don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more. My name's DJ Moore. This is the Modern Ninja, and I'm out.